It's Friday, August 20th, 2010. I'm Kevin McShan, and this is the McShan Sports Beat Report. <laughs> We are bound by the decisions we make, and sometimes in life, we won't always make the popular or right decision, but when that happens, we have to be prepared to accept any and all consequences that result from our actions. For Houston Texans, All-Pro linebacker Brian Cushing, the reigning Associated Press Defensive Player of the Year, no matter how good of a character guy he might be, or how stellar his accomplishments are, both on and off the field, he will now carry the indelible mark of a swindler and a cheater, and he's got no one to blame but himself. That's a label which will follow him for the rest of his career. The Texans' defensive cornerstone tested positive in May. For human gorionic gonadotrobin, a non-steroidal substance which is commonly used by steroid users to resume natural production of testosterone, the substance is banned by the NFL. HCG can also be used as a method of alleviating the side effects of ending a cycle of drugs. It can also be used by women to increase ovulation or treat ovulation disorders. At the request of Texans owner Bob McNair, Commissioner Roger Goodell reviewed additional medical information presented on behalf of Cushing, the NFL said in a statement on Thursday. The club and Cushing were notified today that after carefully considering all the information, including a review by outside medical experts, the commissioner finds no basis for changing the decision that Mr. Cushing's suspension for the first four games will remain in place. The statement concluded. This isn't the first time that Cushing has tested positive for performance-enhancing drugs. Yahoo Sports reported back in May that Cushing had tested positive for HCG in September and that all other tests for any other performance-enhancing drugs had come back negative. Cushing will be forced to sit out of action for games against the defending AFC champion Indianapolis Colts, the new look, Washington Redskins, headed by new head coach Mike Shanahan and newly acquired quarterback Donovan McNabb, not to mention dates against the Dallas Cowboys, the Super Bowl host for 2010, and the upstart Oakland Raiders, who'll be eligible to return to action on October 10th when Houston plays host to the New York Giants. Cushing missed Thursday's practice because of a foot injury, and he wasn't available to speak to the media after he learned his suspension would not be overturned. In 2009, he had 133 tackles, helping to solidify the Texans' defense and leading them to a 9-7 and record, narrowly missing the playoffs. However, it was their first winning season in their eight-year franchise history. Xavier Redibi, a third-year pro who started five games in 2008, has been serving as Cushing's primary backup 
during training camp. The Texans may also want to move starting weak side linebacker Zach Diles into Cushing's position during his absence. D'Amico Ryans, the stud middle linebacker for the Houston Texans, says that Texans fans shouldn't temper their enthusiasm or expectations for the Texans' defense simply because Cushing will be out. We move forward. One guy goes down. The next guy just steps in, Ryan said. Expectations don't drop. We just keep pushing, he said. Cushing's suspension does not apply to the preseason which means he'll be able to participate in the Texans' remaining preseason games against the New Orleans Saints, the defending Super Bowl champion, the Dallas Cowboys, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Asked earlier this week if he expects Cushing to play in the team's next preseason game Saturday against the New Orleans Saints, in the Superdome, Texans head coach Gary Kubiak said, I sure hope so. Before the decision was handed down by the league, Texan safety Bernard Pollard spoke about the status of his teammate and what the team's defense has to do in order to be successful without him in the lineup. Cushing's going to be missed. He's a great piece to this puzzle but they're not going to stop the games just because he's not playing. We have to back him, and whatever he does, he's our teammate, and we love our teammate, Pollard said. Pollard also said during the interview that Cushing fully understands the magnitude of his actions. He knows and understands for every decision you make, there are going to be consequences. He has to understand, for everything you do, we have to hold each other accountable. Kush is a great man, he's a great player, and when he comes back, we'll be ready to play ball, Pollard said. By no means should anyone be condoning the actions of Cushing. Only he knows exactly what he put in his body, and he's the one that has to live with the cloud of suspicion hanging over his head for the rest of his career. I believe strongly in the power of democracy and the process, and Cushing is certainly entitled to his own opinion. My only question is, how do you not know what you're putting into your body? And only Cushing has the answer to that one. Kevin McShane. McShane Sports Beat Report.